and I'll be back. Um, if you didn't watch the first part, watch that. I'll just put a little link on the side or something like that. Um, this is the cat just glitching. I'll figure that out. Free slide. <laughs> um, now the last part is just our mine. As you can see, it goes down there. There's another one of those water ladders. Um, and because it takes so long to get up and down, we we added this or sort of created this. It's a drop. It's just a pure drop through um, air, and then there's a bit of water at the bottom. It's pretty cool. You can do you can do that as long as you want, and you won't die. Um, we're actually on bedrock here, as you can sort of see in there. That's what it looks like from the texture pack. And the rest is just glass. This room looks awful without a texture pack. Um, so yeah, this is our just sort of a start of our mine. Um, we've got quite a lot from it. In here is a test room. There's some. Um, my friend uses this to test doors, and he's clearly failing. I go back. This is my little mining base. Anything in there? Snowballs. Uh, yeah. Um, now there's two ways we use for transport. One is sort of like the old way, which is this, the water rail. Basically the way it works is you come over here and you load it by dropping a boat in there. And the boat comes up here and it's stopped by that door. And when you get in it, it triggers the pressure pad opening the door. And you get shot along and it's actually really, really quick. And the way it works is the water just pushes you along. And then you get chucked forward and the ladder holds you down into the next one. Um, the problem with it is bugs are so, so buggy on this game and they crash all the time and to load this thing is just a nightmare. And you can't transport stuff on in crates. So we've actually made a minecart system, which is what the only other thing I've got to show you. Um, we were just going to keep extending this. It's a really cool idea, but it didn't work. I don't actually want to walk along there. With four of you mining, you mine so fast. Um, so I have no idea how long that could go on for, so I'm just not going to explore along there for now. Um, with this, you come back along and then there's like a stopping system, which is quite clever as well. I'll show you when I eventually get there. As you can see, there's these pressure pads. Are, these are the ones just to show, but these ones work. When you stand on them, they shut the doors with the boats with either side of you. Well, them either side of the boat even, um, and the boat gets flinged back around and all that. But this loading mechanism is so awful. We tried, as you can see, there's a bit of mud there. I don't know if you can actually see that. Um, to do a loading system, we just couldn't get it to work. So I went out of my way to figure out how to make one of these awesome subway systems. Um, this is us. Obviously, I um, YouTube you to do this because someone's already done it. There's no point in me fiddling around for hours if someone knows how to do it. Um, basically there's normally a fence panel here but for showing purposes I'm going to... Uh, I've taken it out. What you do is you come along here and you pause on this pad for a sec, get off it, the minecart appears, and you get in the cart and you get pushed along the moment it just loops back on itself because um, I've only just made it from quite honest or I just made it before we broke the server and then when you get off it the minecart pushes it back along and reloads it I think it's really awesome and the idea behind it is when you come along here like say this is the next area for a mine I'll build a stopper you get off mine wherever and then you can chuck stuff back on and it'll send it back to the start of the mine um, the booster track that was back there isn't actually a booster track, it doesn't have any carts in because of how it's made, you don't even need them and this isn't using any of that weird gold track this is the maintenance room how everything works yeah, it's just awesome I'll just go over how it works quickly this spins around, when you stand on that uh, wooden platform it changes that bit of track there which brings a minecart along and gets boosted by that one which pulls just, the reason there's a half step there is it pulls just that cart there along the track 
to the stopping point and stops on that uh, half step or no uh, pressure pad, then the other carts get reset by just having to have that. Then you come back around here, so you, you do need to go behind there. Now the minecart stops on here and there's a a gap, so it stops on the gap and halfway on the pressure pad. When you get in it, it triggers, because minecarts don't trigger stone pressure pads, it triggers what's in here. Now this is, oh I was so happy when I found this. This is actually what's known as a double booster. It's very clever. Have I, no, there we go. What it is is, oh, if you see how short it is, you only actually boost one square, but to make it, it's a super powerful booster, you put a, and to make it, this is a quick tutorial, you put a minecart, and then you put a block, and you need wool, because I'm awesome. Um, then you put a rail, and you put a minecart, and then you destroy the block, and they go inside each other. Not really awesome for knowing that, I suppose it's more awesome. Um, and then when you put one like that, it goes crazy. Just because it's on launch player, but as you can see, there's technically two carts there. And the way that is good is it's so compact, but it goes all the way around here and back around, and it will go even further. It doesn't even start to slow. And then this is the really technical part it's basically the way it works is the two pressure pads is wired up so when there's an imbalance. So when only the wooden one is pressed, it releases a cart and the cart comes around and pulls it along and shoots it back all the way around here under that bit of track, under that bit of bridge even, and onto here, which is pretty awesome. They just drop on, it comes up, hits that block and drops onto that dodgy looking stack. Um, so yeah, obviously when you come along, you are in the minecart and you go between the two and your weight pushes that one down and when you get out obviously it takes it off there and there's an imbalance and the wooden one is pressed on its own I'll just show you the circuitry pretty quickly I was so proud when I managed to get this to work it was so complicated all I needed was that I tried for ages and it just wasn't working I can't remember what kind of knot or whatever gate it is it's pretty ridiculous um, And then this last bit, as I said, there's normally a bit of wood across there, fencing even. So you can't just walk across like this, you have to use the rail. Just mark a subway. Okay, that makes me angry. Let's remove the glass. Um, this bit just comes back down into the other one. That's pretty much our entire multiplayer map. Thanks for watching.